here at the bottom of the Quaker Spillway. And as you can see to the right of the screen there, there's a small hole. Actually, it's quite a large hole. But uh, that is the drain port, should they need to drain the Quaker Lake. Oh, to dredge it out, clean up the edges, what have you. And the valve for that is directly across on the shoreline. There's a big steel trap door. Anyways, right now, the reason I can access this um, is that the reservoir is quite low, as it happens to be this time of year. They begin drawing down the water to produce electricity, I do believe, at the Kinzua Dam. Normally, this is completely underwater and can be accessed by boat from the Friends boat launch. Now, what's very interesting about this area here, this was brought up recently on Facebook as a question. If you see over here in the background here, by the way, that is the dike right there, uh, the earthen dike that holds back uh, the Quaker Lake. But here's an interesting old marker here that was no doubt here before uh, they made the reservoir. And um, it is probably Seneca and New York State boundary marker. There's quite a few of those around if you know where to look. Anyways, uh, one other point too. As you're approaching the far side, I'm on the inside now, you see where that, uh, where the abutment is, where the, the wall is to channel the wall, the water down from the spillway into the reservoir. Almost directly across there, if you fight through the brush a little bit, the old Route 280 is there. And although nature has reclaimed it substantially, um, you can see it goes all the way to Friends Boat Launch. And over there is the Holt Run Bridge, which was dynamited to, uh, oh, thwart people from coming down the old 280. And there's an old ASP logo embossed on that concrete. And that's in one of my other YouTube videos on my YouTube channel. Anyways, uh, the Smallback Farm, Pete Smallback and Rhea and Sally are friends of mine. And this property, or very close to it, was eminent domain for the Allegheny Reservoir, as well as dozens, perhaps hundreds, of Seneca Nation families were displaced as a result of the reservoir. And uh, so, you can see here's another old boundary. Now this is, once again, completely submerged in the summertime. But what we're looking at here is an interesting series that uh, Pete Smallback told me about. These are, oh, uh, they help the poor soil conditions. The, the soil up here holds a lot of water, apparently. And so these were put in place so that water can drain and that the uh, soil does not eventually collapse with all the pressure from the soil, um, from the water on the other side of it, holding it back. So here's a, a series of concrete gutters, if you will. And uh, this is what the drains look like. They're, uh, <laughs> they've seen better days. As you can see, there was a, a smaller culvert welded to that. And the concrete gutter, if you will, is uh, pretty much filled in with organic materials, silt, and what have you. So I don't know if these are fully functioning still, but that's why they were put in place here to answer a question from a gentleman from Facebook. So um, the Quaker spillway and the runway for it is right beyond over here on the other side. This is all typically underwater, uh, very shallow though for boats. So uh, you can access it from the Friends Boat Launch by a canoe or kayak very safely. I, I've seen boats down here when the water's quite high. And then this series of drains here for to help the soil um, stay dry, if you will, so it doesn't wash away from the um, tremendous amount of pressure that's exerted from the waters on Quaker Lake. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. You folks have a great Allegheny Day. Take care.